During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about boron. All right, so you think about what boron? Maybe you haven't even heard about boron, but it is one of the essential micronutrients for crop growth. And I don't care what crop you're growing, you need just a little bit of boron in order to get your crop to grow properly. So when we look at boron, why is it so important and why do we have to put it out there? That's what we're gonna talk about today. Before we even get to that, I would just say, if you go on the Ag PhD Fertilizer Removal app, you will find that with many crops, we have down how much boron that crop is actually going to use. Now it's not going to be pounds per acre like it is with potassium or nitrogen. It's going to be, in most cases, fractions of a pound. But nevertheless, like Darren said, it is tremendously important. Well, and we think about boron being extremely important once we get to the reproductive stages of growth for plants, but it's not necessarily just for the end of the year. We need a little bit of boron all the way through. And this is kind of true with many of the nutrients. We, we may have a peak time for demand, but uh, we do need a little bit all throughout the season. Yeah, so in other words, if let's say your ear isn't filling out all the way to the end, uh, could it be that you've planted maybe a little bit too thick? Sure could be, but it also could be a lack of boron. So like Darren said, this is tremendously important in the reproductive stages. Uh, so we wanna make sure that we've got that timing down right. In other words, boron moves in the soil, it leaches. So if you have a lot of rainfall and a light soil, the problem is if I need a whole bunch of tassel time, but yet I put it on three months before that and I have light soil and lots of rain, my boron may be gone by the time I reach tassel. So that's why in light soils, in areas where you have lots of rainfall, areas that are irrigated, we wanna think about applying some boron during the course of the season. And that's part of the reason why we're talking about that today. And some of the micronutrients that you'd put out in your soil for your crop, well, they just stay right where they're put. Boron just doesn't happen to be one of those nutrients. So much like we manage nitrogen and, and sulfur, we have to watch out because there are forms of those nutrients that can move down through the soil if we're not careful. The other thing that we talk about quite often with boron is what form are we going to apply it in? On our farm, the cheapest way to go is a dry product, and we'll do it in the fall because we're frozen, our ground's frozen for six months out of the year, we have very little rain and heavy soil. So there's no problem losing the boron. In a light, sandy soil, irrigated, let's say it's in the southern United States, then I'm thinking an awful lot about, you know what, I wanna put it on as I go in season. I might even put it on with my nitrogen side dress. I might even do a little foliar application with liquid. So there are many forms of boron, just find out what works for you. And the best way to find out is run some trials, do soil testing before and after, and do plant tissue analysis before and after. Now boron is an important micronutrient. It's essential for crop growth, so you need to make sure that you have enough boron for whatever you're trying to grow. Well, one thing you're not trying to grow out in your field or your garden is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop it coming up later in the show.